Formula One driver Maurice Trintignant was given a seemingly impossible task for his money by the race organizers, but they hadn't reckoned with the Frenchman's cleverness. The whole thing happened at the 1960 Dutch GP, where Maurice negotiated a deal with the organizers, who only wanted to pay the full entry fee to the 15 fastest drivers in training. He would receive the full money if he finished in the top 10 in the first 10 laps. The Dutchmen were able to make this promise lightly, as the Frenchman's Cooper was considered outdated. Maurice started 17, which meant he was last, but, what nobody knew, there was only a seventh of the amount of fuel in the tank, as he had calculated what he needed for 10 laps. And his plan worked, as his car was significantly lighter, he crossed the finish line on lap 10 in 10th place.